Hello everybody out there, uh, I'm Jason Burmis, and uh, I'm about to release a InfoWars and LooseChange911.com exclusive. Uh, last year, uh, Dylan Avery and myself went to great lengths to get an interview with Barry Jennings. Uh, this man was an emergency worker, uh, heads of a head of a department out in New York City. And uh, on 9-11, he was called up after the first plane strike, and he went to World Trade Center Building 7. Now, when he went there, he went up with a uh, police triage and Michael Hess. Now, Michael Hess was the city corporation counsel. And uh, when they got up to the Office of Emergency Management, because that's where they were supposed to go in the case of any kind of a terrorist attack or a natural disaster, the Office of Emergency Management was abandoned. And Barry said that he saw you know, still hot coffee, half-eaten sandwiches, didn't know what was going on. When Michael Hess and Barry actually went to exit, they had to take the stairwell. And while they were down by the 8th floor, uh, between the 6th and 8th floor, they had an explosion from underneath them uh, where it trapped them for the rest of the afternoon. And this was all prior to either of the towers collapsing. Now, Michael Hess and Barry Jennings went on the local news that day and confirmed this story. And we're going to play the whole thing now. Why, why have we chosen now? Well, in the beginning when we got this interview, we were going to put it in Loose Change Final Cut. We were then contacted by Barry after some of it had been played and it started to make its rounds on the internet. And he was upset and he didn't want to end the, uh, the movie because he was getting phone calls and threats and he didn't want to lose his job. And you know people essentially were angry with him. He didn't want all this attention. Now he's given an interview to the BBC, and on July 6th, they are going to present Conspiracy Files, The Third Tower. Uh, if you look at the last piece they did, the 9-11 Conspiracy Files, they tried to say ludicrous things like the debris field at Shanksville, Pennsylvania was only one mile away at Indian Lake when we had reports that there was debris eight miles away over a mountain ridge in New Baltimore, but they didn't mention that. We figured that this uh, this new show comes out July 6th, and we want Barry Jennings' uh, words from a year ago to speak for themselves. So previewing uh, my new film, Fabled Enemies, because this will be in Fabled Enemies, we are going to release some of the Barry Jennings interview. Hi, my name is Barry Jennings. I'm 52 years old. Um, I've worked for, for 33 years at one location. When the Office of Emergency Management did an activation, they always, they always included our locale. And what, it, what, it, what, it, what we did was, what they did was monitor the emergency. They actually coordinated the emergency through several agencies. I, I received the call shortly after the first plane hit. I got there, uh, I had to be inside on the 23rd floor when the second plane hit. Upon arriving into the OEM uh, EOC, we noticed that everybody was gone. I saw coffee that was on a desk. Still, the smoke was still coming off the coffee. I saw, I saw uh, half-eaten sandwiches. And only me, Mr. Hess, was up there. Um, after I called several individuals, one individual told me that um, to leave and leave right away. Mr. Hess came running back in. He said, we're the only ones up here, we gotta get out of here. He found the stairwell. So we, we subsequently went to the stairwell and we're going down the stairs. When we reached the eighth or the sixth floor, the landing that we were standing on gave way. There was an explosion and the landing gave way. And we're, I was left there hanging. I had to climb back up and now I had to walk back up to the eighth floor. When I made it to the sixth floor and, and, and the, there was an explosion, the explosion was beneath me. Keep in mind now, it's pitch black in there. All the lights went out. Yeah. So when the explosion happened, it blew us back. I'm thinking I'm standing on, a, on, on the landing. I'm actually holding on to a pole b above us. Really? And I had to climb back up because Hess is yelling, what do we do now? I said, there's only one thing we can do is, and let's go back up. Both buildings were still standing. Keep in mind, I told you the fire department came and ran. They came twice. Why? Because building tower one fell, then tower two fell. And then when they came back, they came back with all concern now, like, to get me the hell out of there. 
I was trapped in there for several hours. I was trapped in there when, when both buildings came down. All this time, I'm hearing all type of explosions. All this time, I'm hearing explosions. When they finally got to us, and they took us down to what, what they, they uh, called the lobby, because I asked them, I said, when we got down there, I said, where are we? He said, this was the lobby. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. It was total ruins, total ruins. Now keep in mind, when I came in there, the lobby had nice escalators. It was a huge lobby. And for me to see what I saw, it was unbelievable. And the firefighter that took us down kept saying, do not look down. And I kept saying, why? He said, do not look down. And we were stepping over people. And you know you can feel when you're stepping over people. This big, giant police officer came to me. And he says, you have to run. I said, I can't run. My knees are swollen. He said, you're going to have to get on your knees and crawl in. He said, because we have reports of more explosions. And that's when I started crawling. And I saw this guy fall behind me. And his comrades came to his aid. And they dragged him to safety. I'm just confused about one thing and one thing only why World Trade Center 7 went down in the first place. I'm very confused about that. I know what I heard. I heard explosions. The, the, the um, expl explanation I got was it was the uh, fuel oil tank. I'm an old boiler guy. If it was a fuel oil tank, it would have been one side of the building. Yes, you can use this footage. So there you have it, folks. Explosions within World Trade Center Building 7 prior to the collapse of either World Trade Center tower, explosions after the fact, the lobby completely decimated, and that's a big point because we're going to show you video inside the Millennium Hilton and show you that uh, there was sl slight damage the next day. It was nothing compared to what happened in Building 7. Why? Well, it was probably from those explosions that were in the building. So again, this will be in my new film, Fabled Enemies, and uh, you can check that out. It's uh, going to be released by September 1st, we're looking at right now. Thanks for joining us, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com.